good entrepreneur has to be someone who's open to new experiences, who's um, interesting and challenging ideas, who understands the uh, need of consumers, who is willing to take risks, and is a good communicator, someone who can communicate their vision to others and to rally resources behind that vision. We started Hoverfly Technologies about two years ago, the four co-founders. Uh, we were all interested in embedded electronics using microprocessors and sensors to uh, give intelligence to small devices. The thing that, that fascinates me about my work is, is how the atoms come together, how they interact um, to form things that we can physically see and things that function and understanding those interactions. The initial focus of Green Technologies was in commercializing the cooling technology I was working on as a graduate student. Um, and the products that we worked on early in the days of Green Technologies were cooling systems for military lasers and cooling systems for military electronics. We had a customer here in Florida, Florida Hospital, who had a unique uh, need for a certain type of imaging system that no one else was able to build for them. And they asked the guys at the time here whether or not we can do it, and we did. Inventors, scientists, creative thinkers come up with great ideas every day with the potential to improve and change our world. But an idea is just a thought if it never gets to market. That's why the UCF Business Incubator Program was established, to help grow and nurture new startups. The ones we like to serve are what I call scalable companies, where, as opposed to what I call a lifestyle company. We want ones that are going to grow, that need to figure out how to grow to big companies. The business incubator concept came about after Tom O'Neill helped a few UCF faculty members start companies based on their own research. He realized that what makes a good researcher didn't necessarily make a savvy business person. Now the incubator helps companies all over Central Florida. So it starts with that idea of what can we do as an institution to build the wealth producing economy of our region, to help diversify our economy in Central Florida. Companies must go through four weeks of rigorous training to join the program to see if they have what it takes to meet the incubator standards. They pay rent for office space, but mentoring and marketing help is included as part of the program. I asked them how they're going to pay their rent for the next six months. It's kind of the question I ask them when I say, do they have any money? Well, if they don't have any money, but they have a plan, you can live with it. If they have the money, it's even better. If they have customers, it's great, because then you know they're going to have revenue. Having the ability to uh, locate the co-founders and all of their equipment in a common space was a big advantage for our company. It, it was started on kitchen tables and garages. As time has gone on, really the advantage of being in the incubator is the mentorship and the guidance that you get. First of all, it was the business structure and, and the ability, uh, the connections and the networking, how to even make a business. So they ensured that we were going to institute good business practices. They exposed me to business topics and marketing and and finance and business planning and things that I had not, skills I had not learned formally in my mechanical engineering training at UCF, but um, they helped provide some of that assistance and helped me develop those skills when I got the company started. But the whole goal is to create the success, successful companies, help them become successful, figure out what they need, you know, to make them uh, not fail as often, and really nurture these companies so they get to a point where they're physically and financially able to survive on their own. Rini Technologies was one of the first startups in the incubator program. Its success has grown from a graduate student research grant to employing more than 20 employees with a look to expanding even further. The products that we've been developing for years now with research and development contracts from the military, the personal cooling device and the uh, scuba diver heating system, are products that have now gone through the development phase and are in qualification testing with the military. So we're starting to build higher and higher quantities and we're staffing up now with manufacturing people and assembly people uh, because our contracts with the military are growing and expanding and we expect to be adding staff to the company over the next few years as we sell more and more of these products to our military customers. Like Rini Technologies, Nanospectives has close ties to UCF and is ready to graduate from the incubator program with plans to expand to larger facilities. Nanospective is an advanced materials characterization company, meaning we use very powerful electron microscopes, uh, some of the most powerful in the world, to look at uh, things that other things are made of. We look at materials. So all materials are made of atoms, and by using our techniques, we can determine what, what atoms are present and which atoms are next to other atoms. 
Typically our clients are large manufacturing corporations. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the consumer electronics space, so companies that would manufacture uh, TVs, computers, LEDs, and various types of electronic equipment. Just two years after Hoverfly Technologies was founded, its aerial cinematography units are changing the way TV shows and movies are made. A lot of television shows, if you, um, when you're watching some of the, like Discovery Channel, National Geographic, when you see an aerial shot in a location where it would be difficult to get a full-size helicopter, there's a good chance that that shot was taken with our, with our electronics. We're, we're excited about that, but that's really only one of the small markets, actually, that are uh, opening up to multi-rotors. Agriculture is probably going to be the largest market. Um, and then in terms of government, uh, homeland security, uh, border patrol, those kinds of applications are um, really opening up and uh, will probably be in our near future. Local manufacturing is also benefiting from Hoverfly success as parts are made in Lake Mary. One of the first things people suggest is going overseas for manufacturing. And we made the choice to stay here in the United States. Um, we feel very strongly about that. I know that we pay a little bit more to have these manufactured, but the quality is very high, the inspection is very good, the yield is very high, and they're 10 miles away so that during manufacturing, we can go there and work out problems much quicker. Most important to us is that we stayed made in the USA. Companies who are further along in their development can take advantage of the Grow FL program, like Omega Imaging Systems, that makes specialized medical imaging equipment for hospitals. You know, you can achieve a certain level through success, but in order to, to break through that level, uh, there's, a, there's a series of things that you need to have in place, from processes, to management systems, to the ability to recruit and bring on talent, you know, all those things that are associated with growth. Companies in the program meet to problem solve and network, share stories and inspire each other. The power of the CEO Roundtable is, you know, there's between eight and ten CEOs we get together once a month and we share uh, common experiences and best practices. There's a lot of common threads and challenges that we're dealing with. And so by, by us getting together, even though we're in different industries, the challenges we face are the same and very often the, the, the strategies to overcome them are similar. More than 140 companies are currently in the incubator program, and another 75 companies have graduated from it. From 1999 to 2011, O'Neill estimates more than 3,100 jobs have been created by companies in the program. In addition to that, UCF's Grow FL program has served more than 400 companies in its first four years and helped create more than 3,500 new jobs in Florida. Uh, what's the secret sauce that goes into this success? I think it starts with Tom O'Neill. The second thing that's made us successful is the partnerships that we've enjoyed with local and regional government. We're a city and a region of small businesses, small startup businesses, people that have started businesses in garages and then gone on to maybe um, incubators. Uh, but that's where the vast majority of the high paying jobs are being created in our community and it's in small businesses. A few years ago we were predominantly tourism, service sector, and construction. And now what we've been, we have done between the uh, UCF Research Park, uh, modeling simulation and training, the cluster of companies that we have out there is second to none, not just in the state of Florida, not just in the country, but actually in the world.